Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I am back with a slightly different video for today. I thought I would talk about buying makeup at the airport when you're darker skinned. And it may seem like a bit of a niche topic, but I actually tweeted while duty free about this a good few years ago. It was purely because I wanted to go to the airport and spend a little bit less on my favorite foundation. I couldn't find it. They did not have my color in stock. So I saw a tweet from Little Black Book author Otega Uwagba last year about the same thing and I just wanted to investigate and see if anything had improved. I would always get the same response from the assistants, you know, we don't have the space, couldn't possibly carry all the colours and I just didn't feel like that was fair, like I can't just go to the airport, pick up the colour that I need, I can't go and discover a new foundation in the colour that I need and it's 2019, I don't know, that's not like an excuse for everything, like not everything is solved, but I just wanted to shed some light on the topic and find out if any of you have been affected too. So if you're new to my channel, I quite often do shopping videos. So normally I'm shopping for clothes on the high street, trying on things, they don't zip up, you know, it's all happening. I also do vlogs on the reality of blogging and what it's like working in this new industry that all the newspapers seem to hate. And I've also got travel vlogs as well. So I would love it if you subscribed, if you liked, if you followed. I've got Instagram at I am Christabel, and I've also been blogging for 10 years at I want you to know uk. So on the high street, there are loads of options for darker skin. We've got 40 shades of Fenty, we've got Lancome, Estee Lauder, NARS, MAC. There's a lot of options out there, but airports, they just seem to be lacking. It's crazy. You've got people from every race traveling from country to country. It's a captive audience as well. You know, you've literally got to spend, you know, two to three hours there. You're looking to spend money. You're looking to get a discount. And I just don't know why the shades aren't available. Also, I've heard that black women spend six times more on beauty than white women, which, you know, it's a figure that's not to be sniffed at. If I look at all the beauty, I've got loads of beauty here. I have the evidence like right behind me. And it's just crazy that brands haven't cottoned on and they're still excluding us. Also, I just wanna save a little bit of money on my favorite bougie foundation. But you know, what if I'd left it at home? What if I had an emergency? I just don't think it's fair that there's limited options for my skin tone. So, because I've been on a fair few flights recently, I thought I would film and document the experiences of me trying to find makeup in my skin tone. Now, normally I'm really late when I get to the airport, so I apologize, you know, if there's not as much footage as you would like, but I hope it gets the point across and I would love to know your thoughts as well. Okay, so I'm finally at Gatwick, I'm at Wild Duty Free, and I'm gonna see if I can get some makeup. I'm colored 12, mm -hmm. so. No, we don't have all products here. Okay. So you have 10, 11, and then you have 16. Okay, great. Thank you. I had a look for my favorite Lancome foundation, which they did not have, and also the Bare Minerals powder, which they also did not have. Hello, so it's a week later. I'm back at Gatwick. I'm still not any more organized, and I thought I'd have another look around the shops for foundation. So I don't know if there's going to be any changes. We will see. We will see. So this is Bobbi Brown. I think they have darker shades in some of the range, but not all. So this is Bare Minerals. I don't know why I came back. I wonder if they have my concealer. I think this is the concealer that I use, but they only go up to tan, and I'm pretty sure that I am darker than tan. These are all the foundations I offer. So this is Clinique. This is Estee Lauder. I've never tried it before. I think these could be the shades, like all of them, but I'm not totally sure. I don't know what they got to. Espresso. So this is Dior. Uh, I think they've only got nine colours. This is YSL. So, all looking pretty pale. I am going to rush. I'm going to see if I can get Nando's. All I've done is buy my mum a perfume for Christmas and I bought myself an eyeshadow. So, it's now a couple of weeks later and I'm at Heathrow. This is looking like the Bobby Brown selection. I am Polynesia in, in one of them. I oh, really. Excuse my nails. There's like I think six shades here. And then all of these shades. It's not looking promising. I'm here with Sade. 
It's very early. It's like 6 a.m. We're at the North Terminal in Gatwick. So this is a bit different to last time. Last time just at the South Terminal. So I'm going to see what makeup they have. What do they have for my skin tone? And what do they have for Shadi's skin tone? <laughs> Let's go check it out. This is duty free. So we know we have Mac. We can count on Mac. We don't even need to go to Mac. Uh, so Benefit, I don't think Benefit, I think Benefit do a foundation, but I've never tried it. We can go and have a look. So this is the Benefit range. So they've got color one, color two, color three, color five, color six, color nine, and then 11. So, and then these are just pale. This is the NARS selection. So normally, so they've got Sade shade. My shade is Polynesia. Uh, they don't have Polynesia and yeah they don't have any of my shades. Is that your shade? I use uh, Macau and Teddy's. Okay I've never I've never used this one. So this I think this is the darkest shade. This is New Orleans. New Orleans. It's Fair Minerals. I literally need the one that's here. And I need Chai 26 which they just never have. This is Giorgio Armani. Uh, they have colour 10 and I think they have colour 13. I think they used to be colour 11 but I can't remember so I will update you on that later. I think I would be a shade, I love that one. Yeah, it's a tricky one isn't it? But you can't really discover new products in the airport. Okay, so this is the Dior section. Or Dior, Dior. It's like, is that actually how you say it? Because that's what Lucy, Lucy said Dior and I was like, what are you talking about? Um, so I only see one dark colour. There is one dark colour. In forever. <laughs> forever for some people. So this is Estee Lauder. So I think I'd be able to find a shade. Have you ever tried this? Um, I will compare it to what's online. But these, I mean they look lighter there, but... Yeah, they seem to go up to 6W2. I don't know what the darker shade is, so I'll double check online and let you know. Here's some more complexion products. This is my favourite foundation, but they don't have my favourite shade. Oh, is this a shame? Oh my god, Sade, you're so lucky. Oh my god. So Sade is faring very well here in duty free. But it's been four months, I haven't been able to buy any foundation. I think my work here is done. Sade, how many foundations could you get? Like four. Four. I mean, I guess I could probably have MAC, definitely MAC, and maybe Estee Lauder. But we'll, we'll double check that. So, surely I should be able to order the foundations online. I hear you cry. Well, I have tried this and it hasn't worked. To prove my point, I'm going to have a look on the World Duty Free website. So, where was I travelling from? Gatwick North. Departure date. Okay, it was in the past, but we're going to lie. And we'll say it's a week later. So, 12th of April. What can I get from Lancome? I've been trying to buy this foundation for four months. Will I get it? So, we go to face. So what's annoying is that all the brands are listed. You've got to filter, filter results. So we'll go to Lancome. Lancome, 32 options for face. But the thing is, each foundation is listed by color. So it's not like you can click on one and see what's available. So what do they have? What do they have? They literally have number one, number two, number 35, uh, I don't know what this one... Okay, this isn't even the right foundation. This is... Okay, this is not the foundation that I actually use. But you can just see that it's listed in a really confusing way. Let's look at another foundation. So, what's what's another brand that we, that we love? So, Bobbi Brown has more options, but with foundation, there is less options. The Warm Almond... Is that my shade? almond uh let's have a look see what i've got here oh gosh okay actually got moisturizer on it warm almond so i mean okay so bobby brown might be able to get a shade what, what if we said the 26th of march what can i get in the north terminal 26th of march so we go to beauty we go to face we go to 
brand. So Lancome, where you at, Lancome. And yeah, so this, okay, this is the foundation that I like. So, but these are the only options. So there's not even the full range online, which is really disappointing. Let's try another brand. So face, maybe we'll look at all the foundations. Dun, dun, dun. Oh gosh, this is very, very clunky. Foundation 553. Okay, so I don't think the layout is great here. Every colour is listed, but it's really hard if you want to search for a particular skin tone. So maybe we'll look at NARS. We love a bit of NARS. NARS 35. Do, do. Okay, so NARS again does not have many options. Really disappointing. What about what other brands do we like? Giorgio Armani. What have you got for me? Mm, 10. So, yeah, I had a look at home. I actually use 11.5 in Luminous Silk, and that's the darkest shade they've got number 10. So unfortunately, you can't find all the options online. I've also tried this with Luton Airport. So I think it's got a slightly different website. Nada, absolutely nada. So let me know what you think and whether you've had this issue before. So what brands can you get at the airport with my skin tone? So MAC are pretty good. They tend to have all of the shades. They're really, really helpful. And you know, foundations are one thing, but you want to be able to get the powder, the concealer. You want to get different options for foundation. And MAC are usually pretty good at this. So with Estee Lauder, they seem to have a lot of the shades there. They seem to have more in the South Terminal than the, the North Terminal. But I'm hoping, I don't know, I'm hoping that there's a way of getting them across. Some brands tend to have every other shade, so they'll miss out a few. Some tend to have best-selling colours. But the thing is, like, how can something be a bestseller if it's not given the chance, if it's not given the marketing? I just think there's a missed opportunity there. And I know the most of the assistants said the same thing. They're like, oh, we, we don't carry all the shades. We don't have enough space. And I know it's not their fault. I didn't get angry at them. But I think that this practical consideration, it turns into a microaggression. You know, when you really think about it, this... You know, the fact that they wanted to save on space, it just makes me feel excluded. And like, I don't matter. Like my money doesn't matter. Nothing's changed. No one seems to realize this. And I don't know, I just, I want there to be a solution. You know, I should at least be able to order it online and pick it up. That's at the very least. But ideally I'd want the shades there. You can make space for the cigarettes, for the booze. Why, why not foundation? I know that we have, bigger fish to fry when it comes to tackling racial equality. And I would just say that the beauty industry is a microcosm of everything else that's going on. I just wanted to raise a bit of awareness, talk about this and find out your experiences too. Like, have you had issues buying foundation at the airport? Have you worked at an airport? Like, do you know what's going on behind the scenes? I would love to hear from you. And I wanna get this video out. I wanna show it to different people and see if something can be done. Thank you so much for watching. I will put my previous videos here and here and I will see you very, very soon. Bye. I've prepared some notes. I hope they come out well, but it's hard to know what's gonna happen. Ah. I think just really be mindful about why are you buying this item? Is it because you feel like you need a new dress? Like, does it make you feel amazing? Do you actually feel you know, confident in the dress or are you buying it to keep up with other people?